Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to record a very short video uh, that provides an overview of the public participation plan assignment that is due on Friday, May 19th by midnight. It is 200 points and it is collaborative in nature. You know what your small groups are, um, but I wanted to give you an overview of the plan itself. Um, so as you know, and I've talked about this in class, we've worked individually on assignments that just spoke to different aspects of public participation in natural resource management. Um, so when we focused on these three case studies, one was in California, the other one was in Oregon, and the other one was in Arizona. And again, you know what group you're in. Um, and for this assignment, what we're gonna have you do is collaboratively construct just one public participation plan in your small groups. So for this, you're going to use your separate assignments, the justification, design, toolkit, meeting tools, and communication plan assignments to construct a final plan um, to best include the public to get their perspectives on a chosen case study. Uh, these separate assignments will act as separate chapters um, in the final participation plan, and there's not really going to be much new content um, except for the executive summary, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, so the purpose of the assignment really is to strengthen collaboration skills. Uh, in this class, I think, you know, one thing that I want you to take away from is that you know, in virtually all aspects of work that you will do as a natural resource manager or a recreation resource manager manager, or other type of work as well, um, collaboration is just key to work these days. Um, so I want you to strengthen these skills um, and this is uh, one way to do it. Um, and uh, I think uh, the, the, the one, one point that I have here that I guess I wanna say out loud is that um, in real world settings in your jobs, you're gonna have these ambiguous tasks a lot and it's not gonna be like a clear written assignment, right? Um, so things like what is the best chapter, um, that's up to your discretion, right? Um, you can maybe base it off grades, but I think most of you did really well. Um, so it might be hard to do that. Um, so basically I want you all to, as a group, exercise your team's best judgment um, in this assignment because that's what you're gonna have to do in the real world too. So here's, here are the tasks that I want you to do. Uh, the first thing is to create a title page that has a title of the plan, um, names of all your group members, and one image that represents the issue. Um, next thing I want you to do is write an, write an executive summary of the entire report. It should include a paragraph that talks about the issue. Um, this is the paragraph that I had you all rewrite for each assignment. Um, one paragraph that summarizes the purpose of each chapter and some takeaways. Um, I want you to have a total of about six paragraphs um, and be also prepared to write uh, approximately two or three sentences describing the purpose of each chapter um, and the two or three sentences describing the main takeaways from each chapter in those paragraphs. Um, that's uh, 75 points, so the, the remaining uh, 100 points to make 200 points um, is just to kind of staple, uh, what it, not staple, like virtually staple um, your uh, assignments together in a way that you select the best content from the chapters of your group um, and you'll have a total of five chapters. Um, you might need to edit the documents to reflect some of the changes I suggested in my feedback, uh, but that's pretty much it. So you have an executive, so you have a title page, um, 25 points, you have an executive summary, 75 points, and then you staple these, virtually staple these together for 100 points. Um, one student in your group is going to submit it over Canvas and you submit it um, in the project folder. Um, which is not a week, not in one of the weekly modules. It's the very bottom of the module page. So just look for that. Um, I'll go over it on Friday of, of uh, I think the 11th um, or 12th rather, Friday at 12th. Um, and yeah, unlike other assignments, because it's due in the very last day, I can't accept it late. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'm really, really happy to chat with you. Uh, take care. Thanks.